Hello everyone. Today we are going to start the subject design and analysis of algorithms commonly called as the da okay for this first of all let us know what is an algorithm the proper definition of an algorithm can be that an algorithm is a finite set of instructions that are used to achieve a particular task okay so now you might be thinking that a program is also a set of instructions so what is the difference between an algorithm and a program the algorithm can be written in any simple or you can say any of the languages even it can also be written in an english language okay that simply tells me the procedure but a program is written in a particular programming language like c c++ and all an algorithm has nothing to do with the programming languages okay yeah so there are a uh, certain criteria that an algorithm has to follow first of all this is the input that is there must be zero or more quantities that are externally supplied how when will it be zero suppose i have to print hello world so that in that case there will be no input given to our algorithm and suppose i want to find out the sum of two numbers i'll give two inputs okay the second criteria is the output okay algorithm must produce at least one output the algorithm that does not produce any answer or output is useless the third is finiteness finiteness means that the algorithm must have an ending it should not keep on running in an infinite way fourth is definiteness definiteness means that it must be clear and unambiguous that is every statement in an algorithm must not give me two meanings one statement should mean only one thing okay and the fifth part is effectiveness the fifth criteria that an algorithm has to follow is effectiveness these are the criteria that have to be followed by an algorithm so effectiveness means that every instruction must be so clear that we could implement it simply with the help of pen and paper it should not be very complex that is an algorithm is a very very simple procedure to solve any of the problems if a problem is big we'll divide it into smaller parts and we have various we'll study further that we have various type of algorithms and which actually help to solve very complex problems in a very simple and a normal way okay so next we are going to study the properties of an algorithm okay the properties of an algorithm the first and the foremost property is that they are as we discussed that they are independent of the programming language okay this is the first property of our algorithm then second is that there should be no infinite loop because if there is an infinite loop it will never be able to fulfill this criteria that is it will keep on running till infinity that is it will keep on running and not stop until stopped externally and that is not a criteria that is uh, valid for the algorithm the third is that al instructions in algos must include arithmetic and logical and control transfer operations what are the arithmetic operations like a plus b any of the mathematical operations right what are the logical operations like the uh, you know logical or logical and such type of operations and control transfer like the switch the break statement go to all these statements can be included they must be included in an algorithm and uh, the fourth property is that an algorithm is a sequence of operations performed on data that have to be organized in a data structure that is we do not define what data structure we are using that is we don't say that we are using uh, like i'll tell you an algorithm is a sequence of operations performed on data yeah the da what are the data structures data structures are uh, the uh, that, that the name suggests they are the structures or the you can say the yeah they are the structures that store the data whether they are linked list arrays or anything so basically what is an algorithm that is a sequence of operations okay that is performed on data which is already been organized or stored in some data structures so that is all about introduction to algorithms that actually what are algorithms why do we need algorithms and what are the criteria and properties of algorithms in the next few presentations we are going to study about complexities and asymptotic notations 
and then we'll also continue about the various design algorithms okay thank you for watching